Uh, we're looking at just five stories of faith this week, five Bible characters, five Bible heroes who engage uh, with the Lord God, who act in faith, um, who trust the Lord God and follow him. We've had a brief look at Abraham and then uh, yesterday we spent a bit of time with his grandson, Jacob. Today we're going to skip on a bit in the story of God's people and spend some time with part of the story of Moses. We're going to join the story of Moses quite late. Uh, Moses has run away from Egypt and then he's met the Lord of God, Lord God in that burning bush. He's obeyed his call to return to Egypt and uh, followed through with his uh, task to persuade Pharaoh to let God's people free. You remember that they've gone through those horrific 10 plague showdown with Pharaoh and now Moses and the Israelites have been released from slavery. And you have this entire nation of slaves walking out of Egypt as a, a conquered army, um, given whatever they asked for. But in this part of the story we're in today, Pharaoh has looked over the devastation that the Hebrews have left in their wake. And his heart is hardened. And he's now sent his army to recapture this nation of former slaves. So let's pick up the story in Exodus chapter 14. Verses 5 through to 18. Exodus 14, 5 to 18. When the king of Egypt was told that the people had fled, Pharaoh and his officials changed their minds about them and said, what have we done? We've let the Israelites go and have lost their services. So he had his chariot made ready and took his army with him. He took 600 of the best chariots along with all the other chariots of Egypt with officers over all of them. The Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, so that he pursued the Israelites who were marching out boldly. The Egyptians, all Pharaoh's horses and chariots, horsemen and troops, pursued the Israelites and overtook them as they camped by the sea near Pi Harioth, opposite Baal Zephon. As Pharaoh approached, the Israelites look up, looked up and there were the Egyptians marching after them. They were terrified and they cried out to the Lord. And they said to Moses, was it because there were no graves in Egypt that you brought us out to the desert to die? What have you done to us by bringing us out of Egypt? Didn't we say to you in Egypt, leave us alone, let us serve the Egyptians? It would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in the desert. Moses answered the people, do not be afraid, stand firm and you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring you today. The Egyptians you see today, you will never see again. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Then the Lord said to Moses, why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites to move on. Raise your staff, stretch out your hand over the sea to divide the water so that the Israelites can go through the sea on dry ground. I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians so that they will go in after them. And I will gain glory through Pharaoh and all his army, through his chariots and his horsemen. The Egyptians will know that I am the Lord when I gain glory through Pharaoh, his chariots and his horsemen. I wonder what it must have been like for the people of the Exodus from Egypt. They couldn't believe it. They were free. There must have been a great sense of wonder and excitement. But of course, at that moment when they gathered on the shores of the Red Sea, that sense of wonder and excitement would have been quickly quashed. They were trapped between this, the Red Sea and this angry, vengeful um, Egyptian army thundering down behind them. Understandably, they're mortally afraid. What have we done? It would have been better to, to live as slaves in Egypt rather than die here in the desert. Moses is surrounded by a terrified people. There's no way to cross the sea in front of him. He's got an enemy army at his back. Um, he's got the whole responsibility of leadership. The whole nation's safety is his responsibility. But in the midst of all this, Moses calls out to the people, don't be afraid, stand firm, and you will see the deliverance of the Lord today. And then, of course, Moses raises his staff and the waters of the Red Sea part. The scope of this miracle is staggering, isn't it? In a single day, the Hebrews are delivered and the armies of Pharaoh are defeated without the Israelites having to fight at all. And we have these six giant words of faith. 
Do not be afraid, stand firm. Do not be afraid, stand firm. Whilst everything was kicking off around him, Moses, because of his faith and his trust in God, is able to be calm and to lead the people and to serve his God. I wonder what you and I are like in a crisis. I wonder what we are like when we're close to being overwhelmed. May God grant us the faith of Moses to be able to stand firm without fear and trust that God will bring us through. Let me pray for us. Father, we thank you for this amazing story. Your calling of Moses, bringing out of Egypt, and then this defeat where the Israelites didn't have to lift a finger, you rescued them and saved them. And we thank you in there is the story of faith of Moses, his calmness, his certainty, his surety as a leader at that time. Father, help us when times are tough and we're feeling overwhelmed to be able to be calm, to stand in that place of faith and surety, knowing that you will act, you will bring us through. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. May God bless us this day. All who are thirsty, come to the Lord. All who are hungry, feed on His word. Buy without paying, food without price. Eat with thanksgiving. Thank you.